Hi, my name's Rob, I'm from Body Beaver. I'm going to go through the technique of how to use a spiky ball for the hamstring muscles. The hamstrings are a group of three muscles located at the back of your thigh. We can get into them with the ball either on the ground or sitting on a chair. I'm going to show you both, but you should do whichever one you feel works better for you or whichever one your therapist suggests for you. So to do it on the ground, we're sitting with the leg we're working on out straight, we're putting the ball under the thigh. We're taking a weight through our hands and the other foot so that we can move our body to slowly roll the ball right through the back of the thigh. Now the hamstrings run from a bone at the bottom of our pelvis, it's the same bone you sit on, and they run down the back of the thigh to attach just past the knee. We want to avoid putting pressure with the ball into that sit bone, and we also want to avoid putting pressure into the back of the knee. It's all through the back of the thigh between these spots that we can work on with the ball. So we're feeling around for any extra tight or sore spots, and as you come across these spots, you're sitting on each one for 20 to 40 seconds or until the pain subsides. Now if you feel you need to put more pressure down onto the ball, you can cross the other leg over the top. But you're only letting as much weight down onto the ball as you can tolerate. To do this in sitting, exactly the same principles apply. We're putting the ball under the thigh, only letting as much weight down onto the ball as you can tolerate, feeling around for any extra tight or sore spots, sitting on each spot for 20 to 40 seconds or until the pain subsides. Now you might find you need to reposition the ball a few times to make sure you're addressing all the way up and down the muscle. Again, we're avoiding putting pressure with the ball into that sit bone. Now a great technique you can do with the ball in sitting is as you're sitting on a tight or sore spot, you're slowly straightening and bending your knee. And this can just help provide an even more effective release for the muscle. Now a variation for this technique is leaning forwards and backwards, hinging at your hips. So you can muck around with these two techniques to see if either of them works well for you. So we can work on the hamstring muscles with the ball for anywhere up to several minutes at a time. As always, we do recommend seeing a qualified therapist before doing this sort of thing to make sure it's the right thing for you and you're not doing yourself any harm. Thank you.